one of my favorite things, cow parsley season, is this pink hawthorn with the cow parsley in the foreground. It's just spectacular. Just so gorgeous. So rich, they set each other off in such a glorious way. The woods are full of cow parsley. And so many pollinators. Oh, I was just zooming in on a black Irish bee. But then there's another pollinator right there. A spider. Maybe he's not a pollinator. Looking for pollinators to eat. A prey of pollinators. It's a beautiful spider there. Absolutely gorgeous. And the hawthorn and cow parsley. And the ash is finally coming out. This ash, it would take three people, maybe even four people, to get their arms around its trunk. You stuff in the long grass. It's very high around you, isn't it? Here comes your sister. <laughs> yeah. Just fabulous, the woods. And the cow parsley. And the nettles. And the bluebells. And the great ash tree. That ash is very old and massive. Oh, God. This is what happened. It cl climbed up the front of me. I don't like your tail in my face or your butt in my face. So he climbed up my front. You're a beast. beastly cat. <laughs> this woodland edge here, the bird cherry is in full bloom. Look at it. Gorgeous. And here you can see there's the bird cherry caterpillars. Looking gorgeous with the cow parsley. Everything's white. I've just planted this fern in deep, deep shade. This fern grew here itself. So here's hoping. This is the beech arch. And these trunks have died that were all here. Excuse me. What are you digging up the fern I just planted? No! That is so bold! No, no, get! Bold dogs! Abuse my brand new fern! 
I better go. <laughs> or they will abuse my brand new fern. Leave it alone. Don't go near it. So it's supposed to grow really, really big, huge fronds to fill this space. Or at least that's what I'm hoping. Okay, I better go before they dogs dig up. Look at that, looking out the gate towards that wonderful pink hawthorn. Anyway, off I go into the wilds of the garden again. Is that right, kitty? Yeah. Look at the light. Ah, oh, wow. The light coming through, dripping. It was just raining a little while ago. Oops, I'm dropping my tools. Anyway, there's the beach arch. Down the garden path. Fennels all coming out. And it looks glorious. The floofy fennel with all the beautiful, um, what's this stuff called? I'm just running a blank. Columbine. Yay, I got it. The Columbine. Hey, are you, kitty? wisteria along this wall is beginning to bloom and more columbine and excited dogs I have to go and plant one more fern that I was given as a gift it needs to go and be planted in the woods <coughs> look at this beautiful deep rich geranium that's something else I was given anyway I've got two Got a weed, this fella. Poor thing is surrounded by stuff. Drowning in weeds. So the cow parsley is falling over. I want to go in there to plant this fern. The dogs are hunting a fox. Look at all the staghorn. I actually have to feed the sheep because I'm kind of back late. So the sheep know this. They're basically saying, feed us, feed us now. So I better feed them before I plant this fern that was a present. Look at her hunting. Good hunting dog there. It's probably a fox. Her nose, using her nose. Hey, kitty, how are you? Look at that. The first of the trefoil is out. Oh, I've got a cat on my back. I should know better than to lean over. <laughs> so I'm going to go into the woods and plant these, but first I got to feed the sheep. You can hear them all roaring. Are you going to come for the ride? Hmm? You're such a funny cat. You're coming for the ride, are you? <laughs> oh. Maybe he'll jump off. Listen to the sheep.
Okay, I better go plant this. Ugh. While they're all busy eating. Look at the lights. This is gorgeous. Hey, mister, excuse me. Look at that. Oh, that is so beautiful. The low light of the setting sun across the cow parsley and the baby beech leaves. Just gorgeous. And my back jumping companion is with me. Okay, they're eating. I've got to go plant this fern near the watercourse where it's damp on the other side of the fence in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna tip me over. I just planted the fern there. No, 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 not a dog as well. No, don't dig up my fern. Everybody's here. Dang, this cat, I tell you. I'm in the woods, and I'm in a very precarious position. How deep is the mud behind me? Oop, not so deep. Good. <laughs> Cat butt in my ear. <laughs> so, this is the water course to the tank that's over there. The sheep are all on the other side of the fence, and I've planted this fiddlehead fern right there on that embankment. Hopefully it'll take. As long as dogs don't dig it up, or foxes. Oh look, there's mustard. The cats do enjoy it when I'm doing gardening. They hang out, even if it's gardening in the woods. Anyway. I don't want to forget my fork, but it's beautiful, the light. Okay, hopefully that's a good place for the fern and it'll enjoy it. Maya, leave that fern alone. Maya, 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 come on, leave it. Good girl. Okay, now I still have a cat on my shoulder. And I gotta get my fork. There's that cat there. Oop. Oh, and you fell off or jumped off. There we go. And then go back into the woods towards the field. Some magnificent trees. That's an ash tree. Long may it last and survive. Ash dieback. Baby beech. Baby hawthorn. Wild, some sort of current. Loads of it. Another baby beech. Another baby beech, baby hawthorn. This baby cherry tree I planted with a friend the day before the 2020 lockdown and it's doing really well. It's cherry. So this cherry tree is doing really well. It's a lot bigger than it was. The remnants of the bluebell. Some cow parsley. More bluebells. Look, it's gonna go to seed. Okay, to get through here, there's lots of brambles. So, I'm gonna need two hands and I won't be filming. Look at the horse chestnut. The ash trees are just coming out. I love 
baby holly leaves. They're so tender. Whoops. Oh, they're so soft and tender. That holly I've been protecting for years. See, there's holly, hawthorn, and beech. More holly. There's some of that beautiful evening light. Come on. This is a um, elderflower on the beach. This is what biodiversity looks like when you get rid of the monoculture of ivy. Ugh. There we go. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. A floating paradise. Thank <laughs> you. 